hello friends today we will show you how you can solve the forward kinematics problem of two degrees of freedom robot so in previous lecture we already discuss the concept or uh, we can directly uh, derive the equations of two degrees of freedom or forward kinematics for two degrees of freedom robot so in this forward uh, forward kinematics problem uh, forward kinematics is the process to get uh, coordinates of a defector from given angles of all joints means in forward kinematics problem all joint angles parameters or joint space parameters are given we see l1 l2 uh, theta 1 theta 2 these are the given parameters and you have to find out the Cartesian space coordinates so first problem uh, consider the forward transformation of two joint manipulator as shown in figure so this is the two joint parameter or two degrees of freedom robot or manipulator this is the link number first link number second uh, all are familiar with all joint space coordinates or L1 is the length of link number first L2 is the length of link number first theta 1 and theta 2 so consider the forward transformation of two joint manipulator as shown in figure uh, given that the length of joint number first means L1 L1 is equal to 12 inch then the length of uh, joint 2 L2 is equal to 10 inch the angle theta 1 is equal to 30 degree okay theta 1 is the angle made by horizontal plane and axis of uh, link number first theta 1 is equal to 30 degree then theta 2 is equal to 45 degree compute coordinates position of x y coordinate for the end of arc means you have to find out unknown position p x comma y of two degrees of freedom robot so first of all uh, given data or what are the different given parameters in problem so in that given parameter uh, l1 is given l1 is nothing but length of link number first is the 12 then l2 length of link number second is the 10 l2 is 10 and l1 is uh, 12 then theta 1 theta 1 is the angular or angle between axis of link number first and horizontal plane theta 1 is 30 degree then theta 2 this is the theta 2 theta 2 is equal to 45 degree angle between link axis of link number first and axis of link number second theta 2 is equal to 45 degree so these are the different given parameters and you have to find out unknown position of a defector p x comma y means your finding is x distance or unknown position of x coordinate of n defector and y coordinate of n defector then what is your next step uh, we know that the formula for forward kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot in previous lecture we already uh, derived the two equations for forward kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot x okay and y or x component how you can calculate the x component for uh, forward kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot or how you can calculate the y coordinates of forward kinematics of two degrees of freedom robots means we know that the formula for uh, forward kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot so first of all equation uh, equations x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 means equate all cos related parameters for x coordinate and equate all sine related parameters for the y coordinate means x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 for x coordinate and for y coordinate l1 sin theta 1 plus l2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 all are familiar with these two equations uh, of forward kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot so you have to put this all given values l1 l2 theta 1 theta 2 in these two equations and find out the x coordinate and y coordinate this is your objective or this is your final objective so first of all 
x coordinate for x coordinate l1 is the 12 then cos theta 1 is the 30 means 12 cos 30 plus 12 cos 30 plus 45 x is equal to uh, by getting this answer or solving this equation you can directly calculate x distance x is equal to 1.85 plus 11.06 x is equal to 12.91 this is the x coordinate means unknown x distance of point p from the origin x distance total x distance is 12.91 this is the unknown position of point p from origin in similar way you have to find out y coordinates we know that formula for y coordinates y is equal to l1 sin theta 1 plus l2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 put all given values of l1 l2 theta 1 theta 2 in this equation and find out new equation y is equal to 12 sin 30 plus 12 sin 30 plus 45 u means y is equal to 11.85 u plus 4.65 u total distance or total vertical distance from origin y is equal to 16.5 so this is the x coordinate unknown x coordinate and this is the unknown y coordinate so unknown position of end effector in three dimensional space or compute the coordinates position of x and y coordinate for the end of the arm p is equal to 12.91 is the x coordinate and uh, y is equal to 16.5 this is the unknown position of end effector 12.91 and 12.91 comma 16.5 this is the unknown position of end effector means total distance y is the vertical distance and x is nothing but horizontal distance from origin this is the total x distance and this is the total y distance total x distance is the addition of l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 and total y distance is the l1 sin theta 1 plus l2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 so in this way you can directly find out the x coordinate and y coordinate means uh, cartesian space coordinate by using forward kinematics equation so forward kinematics is the process to get coordinates of end effector from the given angle of the joints so basically difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics in the in the problem or in that problem of you know, forward kinematics l1 l2 theta 1 theta 2 these are the given values or given parameter and you have to find out unknown position of point p x comma y means unknown position of point p x comma y so l1 l2 theta 1 theta 2 these are the given parameters and you have to find out unknown position unknown uh, coordinates cartesian coordinates of point p x comma y so you can directly use these two formulas or two equations for x component and for y component put the all given values l1 l2 theta 1 theta 2 in these two equations and find out unknown position of end effector or unknown position of your robot hand in three dimensional space so by using these two formulas uh, for our kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot equations you can easily find out unknown position and orientation of two degrees of freedom robot means in a direct kinematics problem uh, given the vector of joint variables of robotic manipulator determine the position and orientation of the tool uh, with respect to coordinate frame attached to the robot base so this is the systematic way to find out exactly coordinates with the help of forward kinematics of two degrees of freedom equations these are the two equations x coordinate or x component and y component by using these two equation you can easily find out unknown position and orientation of end effector means main objective is to find out unknown position and orientation of robot hand in three dimensional space so this is the 
simply way to find out unknown position of any factor in three dimensional space.